Okay, so hello everyone. So again, welcome to our Financial Literacy Caravan Worldwide Presentation. So how is everyone doing? Ayan, so we are doing this because uh, we really want everybody to experience financial breakthrough, getting out of debt, livelihood program, and no family left behind, right? Of course, before we start, Okay, let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful again for this opportunity of learning. We need to open our hearts and our mind, Lord. You know our situation. And I pray, God, that this presentation is going to change our life and we will have direction to our finances. Continue to meet all of our needs right now, Lord. We commit to this presentation. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So again, we are conducting this financial literacy caravan worldwide presentation okay? because we strongly believe that everybody needs what we call a blueprint. Because building wealth is like building a house. When you build a house, you need a blueprint to, to make sure that your house will be built on a solid, strong foundation, right? So the same thing with our finances. No? We also need to, to build our finances in a solid, strong foundation. That's why we have this powerful blueprint. So lahat ng tinuturo po natin dito sa ating financial literacy caravan, it's all about the blueprint. It's all about increasing your money line fast. So because when you increase your money line, your responsibility line with the responsibility line will decrease. And we need to do it over time because our time is limited. No, no, it's been a generational problem. No? Ang kahirapan, paulit-ulit lang, palipat-lipat lang. An endless cycle of poverty. Because your parents never learned how to solve this, so it's passed on to you. Your grandparents never learned this, then it was passed on to your parents. So pag hindi mo rin na-resolve yan, the same problem you're going to pass on to your children. So we need to break this cycle of poverty. So instead of focusing on the problem, we have to focus on the solution. That's why we call this presentation Financial Solutions Today. Right? And it really flows on our blueprint called make more money, save more money, grow more money. Okay, so right now we are going to study a very interesting topic. Okay, so let's go to our whiteboard. Okay, so are you ready? So I call this topic uh, six words. Ayan. So please bear with my handwriting. Six words to financial success. So how many of you want to become financially successful? You know, you, it's, you see, uh, it's not really how much money you make. It's how much money you keep. And how much, put, how much discipline you put to your money. It's all about how cash flows. Okay? So, it says that money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. But financial intelligence is your ability to control cash flow. So, what is this six words to financial success? Of course, number one, we have this what we call income. Okay? Then we have Expenses. So that's the second word. Then we have to another word is asset. Then liability. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. And the last two words, we already mentioned it right from the very start. It's cash flow. So it's a question of where does your cash flow? Because where your cash flow is where your success flows. Are you listening? Did you learn from that? That's why financial IQ is your ability to control cash flow. Yan yung tinatawag nating financial intelligence or financial IQ. IQ means how big a problem can you solve? Right now, let's let's try to uh, learn this more, no? So, how does cash flows? First, of course, you you make a living, you make an income through a job. 
Okay, whether you have a job, whether you have a business, so anything, no? Na pagkakakitaan mo. That is where your income flows. Now, when you make money, where does it go? Usually, your money flows from your expenses. So, when you make money, when you make money, and you start spending it, that's how people become poor. So, that's how you become a pure consumer. Consumerism. Right? So, that's what something that we want to break, no? Because when you make money, is it possible that your money goes... Ito kasi, ano, tawag dito, poor, ano? Ibig sabihin, talagang, ano, ano, uh, especially in the Philippines... We are born spender. Uh, yan ang masakit na part. Ano, talagang we are spender. But some people, no, some people ay hindi naman agad expenses. No? Dito, hindi, dito siya nagpo, magpo-flow siya sa expenses but at the same time, it may go either, magpo-flow siya pababa dun sa either liabilities or asset. So how do you know that if it is asset or liability? So very simple, you know, when you say asset, pag sinabi mong asset, okay, yung pera, no, it will put money to your pocket. So every time it will put money to your pocket, it's asset. But liability, it will put, it will take out, take out money to your pocket. So, it's now a question of where does your cash flow? Like, for example, you make an income, then immediately, of course, you know, people, they are very concerned about their status quo. Then immediately, they buy a car. So, where does car flows? Is it asset or liabilities? Ayun na, no? Eh, pag bumili ka ng sasakyan, Will it put it, it will it put money to your pocket or it will take out money to your pocket? Let's see. Once you buy a car, ito, ay gagastos ka ng gasolina, or they take out insurance, maintenance, toll fee, parking, or they take out. So car becomes liability. Are you following? You buy a cell phone. Is it asset liability? It may be an it's a liability. Why? Because liability also, the value depreciates. While in asset, the value appreciates. Okay? So, meaning, you buy a cell phone. So, the question, if, if you buy a cell phone, like if you buy an iPhone and it will cost you 50,000 pesos, after a year, what how, do you think how much the cell phone will cost you? Wala na, pababa na siya ng pababa, lalo na, lalo na dami-dami lumalabas na bagong model, tama? Ganun din naman sa sasakyan eh. Yung value ng property, alam mo, pagbili mo ng brand new, paglabas na paglabas sa kasa niyan is 10% depreciated. You see? Now, this is so powerful, no? This is where financial literacy really flows. This is where our financial success flows. Where does your cash flows? Now, how about asset? Like, you buy a house. Is it asset liability? Ayan na. Or you buy property. Asan ba ang property? I buy property. Is my property a liability or asset? We will see. Pag yung property mo, kung yan ay lupa, sabi nila, yung lupa daw, it appreciates. O, di yung lupa siguro, it appreciate like lot. Pero yung building, it depreciates. So, the, the building becomes liability. Tama ba? Pero yung lupa, bagamat it appreciates, hindi ka pa rin sigurado kung yan ay real assets. Diba? Bakit? Kasi, tumataas man yung value ng property, ba, pero yung value ng pera mo, is also devaluated. There's also what we call inflation, devaluation of peso. So now, the most important thing here is you understand when you make money, 
it has to go through as the flow of assets. That's how you build wealth. Okay? Now, the question is, can you turn this liability into an asset? Of course. Because you have to convert this in what we call income-producing asset. Income-producing. Like yung kotse. At first look, is liability. Pero pag ginamit mo yung kotse sa negosyo, like, Gumasas ka ng gasolina around 2,000 pesos, pero ginamit mo siya sa business and the business earns 5,000 pesos. So you have now a surplus of 3,000 pesos. So ano na ngayon ang kotse mo? Asset or liabilities? Are you following? Yung cellphone mo, bagamat it depreciate, but you are using it in business. So the cellphone now becomes an income producing. So the same thing with the property. Kaya sabi natin, ang lupa na nakatiwang wag, liability. So, if you can make your property income producing, like yung building mo, pinarentahan mo, bahay mo, apartment, pinarentahan mo, then it becomes an asset. Are you following? So, you see, this is a very powerful six words to our financial success. What is that six words? Again, you make money, income. Then it's a question of, is your income directly spent or your income will flow through the, the process of asset and liabilities. Okay, so did you learn something from that? So again, keep on listening to this very simple financial solutions today. And I would really encourage everyone, if you want to really learn or our uh, six modules, no? or three modules rather, so just become our JOS. So, and JOS natin, you join our system, own our system for 5999 pesos, and we are going to help you become financially successful. Hindi lang ito basta financial literacy, but it's, it's going to be income producing. It's going to be income producing asset. All right, so thank you so much for your time. If you have further questions, just message us. And don't forget to share to everyone this life-changing principle. Okay, so God bless everyone.